Hey guys, even here, and in this video we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates. First, we're gonna start with Hari Chopin, so we got a physique update at 7 weeks out of the Arnold Classic, and also we got something really interesting, Hari Chopin speaks English for the first time, I believe, ever. Before we check out his physique, let me play you this video where he speaks English. Hi brother, let's stop talking about me. Let's stop talking about me. Alright, alright, very interesting, definitely a step in the right direction. I mean, after that loss at the Mr. Olympia, he started posting a lot more content, such as this one. And finally, we also got to hear him speak a little bit of English. He is definitely, obviously, trying harder this year. Last year, he didn't do anything. As far as promoting the sport, zero. As the Mr. Olympia, you can't do that. And maybe that is the reason why he lost that Mr. Olympia. He is well aware, and now he's working on fixing that. And as you can see, guys, he's posting a lot more videos, a lot more photos, a lot more content overall. And now he's speaking a little bit of English, which is awesome. Now, as far as what he actually says in the video, he says, Hey, brothers, stop talking about me. I wonder who is he referring to? Is he talking to other bodybuilders? You know, his competition? Are they talking something that he doesn't like about him? Or is he talking to people like myself, who are whose job is basically to talk about bodybuilders, including Hare Japan? I wonder... I mean, he's not really serious, he's half-joking, let's say that, you can see it in his face that he's fooling around, but basically this message is to all of his haters, he doesn't have that many haters, but yeah, to all of them he says, stop talking about me, which doesn't really matter what he says, I'm definitely more focused on the fact that he's speaking English. Now, as far as his physique, even in this photo right here, you can see how thick he actually looks. And in that training video, damn, he looks impressive. Let's check it out once again. I'm not sure if it is possible or not, but to me, it seems like his back is improved. And you guys probably have noticed that he was posting a lot of back training clips. So it seems like he has been really focused on improving that back as much as possible in this short time between Mr. Olympia and Arnold Classic. And, you know, he has actually made a lot of progress for the past couple of years since he started competing at the Mr. Olympia. He definitely grew a ton. Now he's a proper mass monster. And back in 2019, for example, or 2021 even, his physique was more streamlined. It was very conditioned, great abs and stuff like that. But now, look at this. Now he's a proper mass monster. Look at the thickness from the side. Like, he definitely gained a ton of muscle. So I don't think it's impossible that he actually made progress in that back. Samson basically made all of his recent progress in between shows. He competed very, very regularly. So why Hadi can't do it? I got the impression that Hadi was pretty much relaxed in the offseason. I think he always took time to rest and recover, and he wasn't really focused on making improvements immediately after the show because he was qualified for the Mr. Olympia, he didn't have to do any shows in between. But now that he lost the Mr. Olympia, he is driven. He is driven, I believe, more than ever before. And he had a little time between the Mr. Olympia and the Arnold, and it seems like he wants to make sure that he actually wins this Arnold. I'll make my official prediction maybe like a week or two weeks before the Arnold Classic, but if I had to say right now who I think is gonna win, I would bet on Hadi. I don't think I would say it's Samson. I have to wait and see if Samson is gonna bring something a lot improved, but if Samson comes in the same, then he has no chance against this freaking monster right here. But I believe Samson is gonna make changes, but, you know, Hadi right now, look at this, guys. Look at his thickness, look at his conditioning. I mean, this kind of, uh, this kind of skin structure that only Iranians basically have, combined with all this volume, all this muscle, all this thickness and density, it's just insane, it's crazy, you know, it's really hard to think that anybody can beat this today, but we'll see. Check out the side thickness, what I was telling you, like the back and like the back to chest thickness, like it's crazy how big this guy is right now. And all this muscle with this shape combined with great conditioning, which I'm sure he's gonna bring, I think he's gonna look his absolute best ever at the Arnold Classic stage. Whatever you guys think, let me know down below.
Alright, next up we got a physique update of our classic physique Mr. Olympia Chris Bumstead who, as you can see based on the caption, went to Brazil for a while, he met up with Ramon Dino of course, and I'm guessing he signed Ramon Dino and a couple of other Brazilians potentially with raw nutrition, so he's probably gonna be sponsoring them. We already heard about this earlier, there was a code that you could use on the raw website, uh, promotion code, discount code, and yeah, basically Chris Bumstead is sponsoring Ramon Dino, his biggest competition, basically he's his boss now i guess so we'll see i mean they didn't announce anything yet but that's probably why he went down there anyways he posted a physique update which is probably more important than who signed with which company uh, we can see right here what chris bumstead looks like in 2024 six weeks ago sibam had his uh, hair transplant surgery i don't know if it worked though because as you can see the hairline doesn't look any better now that some of his hair grew back the balding area is still visible i mean now he doesn't have longer hair to cover it up now his hair is shorter and you know the hairline looks exactly the same so i'm guessing the surgery didn't really work out the way he he was hoping it would we'll see maybe it takes some time for it to grow thicker i don't know i don't know how it works but it definitely doesn't look like um, you know he has more hair now but that doesn't matter either, what matters is, again, the physique of the classic physique Mr. Olympia champion. And like I said, because he had that the surgery six weeks ago, he wasn't allowed to train for four weeks. So he's probably been back in the gym for only uh, last two weeks. Considering that, he actually does look very good. Usually, in the off-season, he gets a lot softer because he is not pushing gear in the off-season. He's using minimum dosages because he doesn't need to grow anymore he's already at the weight cap and he usually gets you know a little bit softer a little bit chubbier but now he actually looks pretty hard pretty lean but mr olympia was only like two and a half months ago and he looked so much better at the mr olympia than he does now but again he wasn't able to train for a whole month and he's probably taking it easy in every sense he's relaxing his body he's taking time to recover to, to rest up you know mentally probably as well so considering everything he looks good i was expecting him to look worse at this point and now he started training only two weeks ago so i'm expecting him to get much better in the upcoming weeks and months but yeah you can't expect this guy to look as good in the off season as he does on stage or like even bigger fuller which is what happens with bodybuilders who are trying to grow you know in the off season they eat a ton and they get big and full and heavy chris bumstead no he doesn't need to grow anymore so he just maintains a solid physique and then when it's time to prep he steps it up he gets jacked he gets shredded and this is what he looks like usually in the off season now everybody is wondering if he's retired already or he's gonna be competing this year well, yesterday he posted a video of himself posing in the last year's prep and in the caption here he says a lot of things but at the end he says I still have a lot of work to do but it's progress. And the whole post is basically about uh, his physique, how he envisions it, how he motivates himself, uh, what he wants it to look like, you know, stuff like that. So he says here that he still has a lot of work to do. So that kind of means he's not done yet he's gonna be competing this year as well i don't know i don't i don't think he knows but i guess soon enough we're gonna find out whatever you guys think at this point tell me down below all right next we got a very interesting video of rubial muscara aka in exila he posted a video of himself doing uh, calf raises and a lot of people are talking about this guy's calves they're saying that his calves are as good or even better than his quads and his legs and his upper legs and you can see in this video that his calves are definitely big definitely massive but i don't know i wouldn't say these calves are as good as for example dorian yates calves or or ben pakolsky or eric Fankhauser or even urs kletsinski if you talk about the shape and the proportions you know the size of the ankles uh, with uh, Nick Zilla, it's really hard to, to see how big his calves really are because he is so massive everywhere else. And then they also say you gotta see these calves in person to really appreciate their size. 
And I believe that if you measure these calves, they probably are the biggest calves in the IBB Pro League right now, maybe even ever, I don't know. But legs are definitely one of the biggest legs of all time. I wonder if they're actually bigger than big Rammies, but I'm not sure. As far as calves, definitely, definitely bigger than big Rammies and probably the biggest calves in the world right now. And I gotta throw this in to sweeten up this video for the end. Uh, Rich Gusparty posted another uh, set of videos in which he's training the back. Since I recently made a video about him and his training, I gotta show you this as well. What the hell is this guy doing? Why is he doing this? But this one is even better. This is probably the best, the best one I saw so far. This is hilarious. What is he doing? What the hell is this? Is this the funniest, the worst form on the internet ever? And check out the top comment right here with 165 likes. It says, with all due respect, sir, what did I just see? <laughs> Whatever happened to quality or quantity? There is no way you lacked full range of motion when you were an Olympian, an incredible shape. So why are you lifting so poorly now? And that's exactly what I wonder. And I'm thinking maybe he's doing this just for the reaction, just for the comments like this, because he gets a lot of comments on his post, but look at this, he's making a fool out of himself, look at this form, what is this, he's not even shrugging, nothing, he's literally just holding the weight, and he's moving his head backwards and forwards, he's tilting his body a little bit, and that's it, he's definitely not training, he's, he's not training anything here, I don't see why would he be doing this unless he's just trolling this legendary Hall of Famer bodybuilder, second the Mr. Olympia three times in a row, decided to do this and make fun of himself for, I don't know, reaction, not even likes, for comments and reaction. But I don't know if that's it, maybe he actually believes this is good training. <laughs> I don't know, I really don't know what to think. If you guys have any ideas, tell me down below in the comment section. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And for more bodybuilding content like this, subscribe to the channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.